Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by. So my people, this Peter Obi's latest endorsement by the former president of Nigeria, Olusegun Obasanjo, is currently shaking everywhere. Here we have Atiku Abubaka and Ahmed Bolatinibu's reaction i'm gonna be reading it out for you guys please it is a written statement it is not video this is because of some of you that will come here and say let us watch the video i don't know how i can convert a written statement to a video so i have to say this i literally have to say this in almost all my videos now so that you all will take note please before we continue i want to beg you all to please like the video like because that is the only way where youtube and facebook can recommend it to more people and also please help us by sharing the presidential candidate of the people's democratic party pdp atiku abubakar has said obasanjo's endorsement of peter ubi does not reflect the wishes of nigerians atiku who reacted through the spokesman of the campaign kola olagwedian said it is surprising that obasanjo endorsed someone who had no experience of governance at the national level. Obasanjo had in a letter released on Sunday, January 1st, endorsed Obi, saying the Labour Party presidential candidate has an edge over others. The Atiku Okoa's campaign organization has dismissed the endorsement of Peter Obi by former president Olusegun Obasanjo. Earlier on Sunday, January 1st, Obasanjo in a letter to Nigerians, particularly the youth, declared his support for Peter will be presidential candidate of the Labour Party ahead of the 2023 general election. Reacting to the endorsement, Kola Olagwedian, the spokesperson of the Atiku Okoa campaign organization, said the former president's stance does not reflect the opinion of Nigerians. The Kebo report, the Atiku Okoa's presidential campaign organization says the subjective support for the Labour Party presidential candidate Peter Obi by the former president Olusegun Obasanjo is his personal wish, which does not reflect the opinion or position of overwhelming majority of Nigerians across the country. While former president Obasanjo is entitled to his personal opinion, as remarkable as it may appear, it remains individualistic and cannot redirect Nigerians from their determination to rally with the more experienced, more proficient, and more accepted presidential candidate of the People's Democratic Party. Atiku Abubakar to rescue and rebuild our nation from the APC misrule. The Atiku campaign organization further stated that it is surprising that Obasanjo endorsed a candidate who is not adequately experienced. What is surprising to majority of Nigerians is that in the face of the alarming challenges facing the nation, which requires a tried and tested hand, the former president, Olusegun Obasanjo, is suggesting a candidate that has not had any experience in governance at the national level. In any case, Chief Obasanjo's opinion cannot sway Nigerians who can easily remember how he endorsed President Muhammad Buhari, whose administration he, Obasanjona, described as stressful years for many Nigerians, during which our nation moved from frying pan to fire and from mountain top to the valley. The statement read further. Atiku remains the most widely accepted candidate whose choice is not predicated by sectional, tribal, ethnic, or religious sentiment or the endorsement of any individual, high or low, but by record of ability and performance, authentic vision, honesty and character, physical and mental capacity, the very indices set by the former president, the statement 
concluded. In a related development, the All Progressive Congress, APC, Presidential Campaign Council, has reacted to Obasanjo's endorsement of Peter Obi. In a preliminary statement sent to Legit.ng by Bayo Onanuga, the Director of Media and Publicity of the Campaign Council, said it did not consider the endorsement to be of any value. It, however, stated that it respects the democratic right of former president of Basanjo to endorse any candidate of his choice. All right, my people, and that is it for you all. Every now and then, they tell you they are not bothered, whereas these people, they are dying in silence. You are not bothered, but in less than more in less than 24 hours of an endorsement these people they have, they have issued statement these are the same people that will never say anything when anything happens to any nigerian in this country whenever they hear that someone is killed in this country it takes only the grace of god for some of them to even react and never as quick as this but here they are disturbing themselves about a presidential candidate who they said they are not threatened by. They said the noise is only on social media. They said he doesn't have a structure. They said he's this. They said he's that. Even the Peter O.B. himself, who was endorsed by this man, he haven't said anything about the endorsement since yesterday till now. The people that say that they are not bothered by his movement are the ones killing themselves and reacting. Since you said this man, he doesn't have structure. He's only popular on social media. He's only popular in the southeast. You are not bothered by him. And according to them, they are the preferred candidates. They are the choice of the people. No problem. On that day, we will know who is who. We know that they are only saying this is because the reason why they are saying this is because uh they are not the ones that Obasanjo endorsed because we have seen them. They even visited, even in Obasanjo's statement. I have done a video concerning the, I've read the full statement for you guys. I know some people will not read it, but you need to watch that video because that man said a whole lot of things in that statement. It is a 20 minute video. That is to tell you how long the statement is. He mentioned so many things. He said that all these pres uh, presidential candidates, they all of them, they have visited him. Is there in the statement. So if you don't want his endorsement, why are you visiting him? He said they have all visited him. But it is sad that most of them, majority of them, keep saying that they want to continue from where him or Basan just stopped in 1990-something. And he, he said that it is very sad because the pattern he used in ruling Nigeria then is not what is needed to rule, to rule Nigeria of today. So these people, there's nothing they want to tell us. We know what they are doing, but we are also watching them with our plasma TV. And that is it for you all, my people, concerning this latest endorsement of Peter Obi by the former president of Nigeria. I'm going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. Hey, my people, I really appreciate you. If you watch this video to this point of time, ah, I really appreciate you. You are so special to me, so dear to my heart. I do not take it for granted. Don't forget to share with others. Like and subscribe and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.